Good evening, Maria. How are you today? Good evening, Maria. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I am fine, thanks for asking. How was your day at work today? Teacher. Yes. Uh, I don't, I don't, okay. No hice la tarea. <laughs> yeah, I know the platform is, is given. Ah, you did or you didn't? Eh, en la plataforma ya hice la sección 1 y 2. Ya hice los knowledge, check knowledge. Y estoy ahorita en la sección 3. Ya comencé con la sección 3. Okay, Pero la tarea good. que dejo anoche, la tarea que dejo anoche sí no la pude hacer. Pero, no. eh, bueno, de todas maneras voy a seguir practicando porque necesito leer bien y estudiar todos los, los temas que hemos estado viendo. Ok, no problem. Uh, we are going to de uh, de uh, develop the homework today. Ok, we are okay. going to check one by one. And then we're okay. going to move to... Uh, today's topic, which are the indirect questions. Okay, so, okay, okay congratulations. How much, what was your score in the section one and section two? 100? Okay, very good, excellent. That's what you have to eh, do. También el vínculo que usted envió, eh, por si les interesa los, al grupo, Compré también el, 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 ¿qué? el libro de gramática que estaban vendiendo en un dólar, me parece, en, la, en el vínculo. Ah, ok. En el chat, uh -huh. you mean. Entonces se, los voy a... sí. Entonces se los voy a enviar mañana al grupo para que lo tengamos todos, por si alguno lo, lo quiere tener, claro. Ok, what, what is the, what is what you're talking about? It's a grammar book. Sí, ese, ajá, es que... Tienen que pagar uno un dólar, ¿verdad? En línea siempre para, para poderlo obtener. Ah, ok, ok. I didn't know that. Ok, very good. Ok. Ok, great. But remember, not Spanish. Ok, communication. Okay. Communication must be in English. Ok. Ok, I, I try, teacher, I try. It's okay. I don't have to move knowledge. I don't have to move knowledge about English. So uh, I I try to speak. Okay. okay, but you see, you are communicating and I understand what you're saying. So okay. you have to do <laughs> it, talk more and forget about Spanish. Okay. Spanish you speak all day. Right? So here yes. no, no habla nada español, okay? Okay. Okay, good. <laughs> well, can we have a different question? And where do you live, Maria? Where where do you live, Maria? In San Salvador, teacher. Um, in and uh cerca de la feria internacional. Ah, uh, near, near the international fair. Near to... Okay, so that's good. And you, teacher? I live here in Colonia Miramontes. Good afternoon, Guadalupe. Good afternoon. Good evening, Guadalupe. 
Good evening, Mario. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Um, I'm fine. Okay. Very what about you? How, fine. how was your day? It was nice. It was a nice day. Okay. Thanks for asking. Okay. And how was your day? Um, so relax. I have to stay at home all the day. <laughs> okay. Very good. Good evening. Just a, just a, just a little stressful. Just Hello? a little. Just a little stressful. Okay. Yeah, because I, I found a lot of traffic. Oh, yeah. And traffic is stressful all the, yeah. time, all the time. Okay. Good evening, Guadalupe. Hi. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. How was your day at work today? It was really interesting. But at the end, I feel a little bad because I had a had a um, stomach ache, so I'm laying on the bed. Ah, so you're laying on the bed, okay. Now, a stomach ache, okay, no H, a stomach ache. Stomach, stomach ache. Uh -huh. Stomach ache with K, K, K. stomach ache, no a stomach, stomach ache. Cake. Uh -huh. Stomach cake. cake, that's correct. Okay, very good. Thank Don't you. worry about it. That stomach is going to go away. Good evening, Cindy. How are you today? Good evening. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for asking. Okay, I am fine. Thanks for asking. How was your day at work today? Um, I was very good. A little bit busy every day, but I like what I do, so that's okay. <laughs> okay, so if you like what you do, it's gonna be okay. Good evening, Maria. Yeah. How are you today? Good evening, Maria Hernandez. How are you today? Good evening, uh, I'm fine. Okay, how was your day at work today, Maria? Okay, good evening, Guillermo. How are you today? Good evening, Ivan. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine today. Okay, how was your day at work, Ivan? I work at home. So I worked at home. Uh, so it was the same. Ah, okay. Good evening, Eleonora. How are you today? Uh, good evening, teacher. Fine, fine. I, I fine. Okay. I have very nice. Okay. How was your day at work? Uh, very nice, teacher. Very, very nice. nice. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. That is very good. That is very good. Good evening, Tatiana. How are you? Good evening. I'm fine. Thank you. How was your day at work? Uh, it was nice. It was nice. Okay. Very good, guys. Now, as you remember, we were working on the count and non-count lesson that we didn't finish yesterday. Okay? And oh, we were going to work with with fewer and with less, okay? So we are going to repeat this. We use fewer when describing plural or countable nouns. Examples using fewer. Now consider this correct example for the word fewer. Fewer than 10 people. Can you see here? This is a plural count noun. Fewer than 10 people bought tickets to the show. So it was canceled. And fewer means focus, my focus. Okay, I want fewer gifts for my birthday this year and more fun with my friends. Okay, so you see gifts is a plural count now. Okay, there are fewer puppies. Puppies 
is a plural count noun, okay? So in each sentence above, the word fewer describe a plural or countable noun, okay? Countable nouns are the things that you can count, such as how you can count people or gifts. For these nouns, you will use fewer. Some examples include, there are fewer people here than last time, okay? In Spanish, we, we say, hay menos gente aquí than last time. But fewer means más pocos. You should buy fewer gifts. There were fewer plates on the table. I saw fewer cars on the street. As you can see, all the nouns that we work with fewer are plural nouns, okay? Can you see all of them are plural, okay? All of them are plural, okay? Now, be careful. This is confusing a little, but a little. Okay, if you can count the noun, then fewer is your go-to. Using fewer with time. Fewer will rarely be used with time. However, there are times when it is used for a, count, a countable chunk or general reference of time. For example, it will be nice to spend fewer minutes. Can you see minutes is a plural countable noun. So I have to use fewer, okay? Fewer hours because the hours is a plural noun, it's a countable noun, I have to use fewer, okay? Even though that means más pocos. In Spanish, in Spanish, we say the same as less. For example, here you will say, it will be nice to spend fewer minutes. Sería mejor eh, pasar menos minutos limpiando y más leyendo. Fewer hours working and more having fun. Menos horas trabajando y más teniendo, divirtiendo. <laughs> Sounds great. Okay. But remember, fewer is used with countable nouns. And with time, time is non-countable. But the units that we use for time, such as minutes, weeks, days, months, years, hours, those are countable. Is that clear? And therefore, with those a type of plural nouns, we have to use few. Now, when we talk about percentages, okay, if we use the percentage with a noun and that noun is countable, so we are going to use fewer. So for example, fewer than 5% of people. Why? Because people is countable. There are fewer than 7% of people. Like for example, there are fewer than 10% of cities because cities is plural. That percentage is going to be used with fewer. Fewer than 10% of being are peaches. So we're talking about plural count now. So that percentage, because it's using a plural count noun, has to use fewer. Are we clear? Yes. Okay, we'll see. Yes, teacher. Since people and peaches are all countable, fewer is your best choice, right? Because they are countable nouns, okay? Now, we use less with uncountable nouns. When it comes to using less, think about nouns that you can count. For example, coffee, sugar, milk, sand are considered uncountable nouns. So you will use less. Examples, 
You should add less sugar. sugar. I need to drink less coffee. There is less milk in my glass. Okay? So, and you should add less oil. All these are uncountable nouns. And therefore, I have to use less with them. Okay? Now, that is very simple. When you can count the noun, you'll add the word less. Using less for time and money. Time and money can get be a bit confusing. That is because even though you are describing the plural years, you are talking about a singular chunk. In this case, you will use less to describe that chunk of time or money. For example, she, com she completed her internship in less than three years. So you are not talking about the one, two, three years. You're talking about that period of time, okay? So that's what it means, chunk, chunk of time, means pedazo de tiempo. So here you're talking about the period of time. So that's why, even though this is plural countable, you're talking about the piece of time. So you are going to use less. In less than four years, I'm not talking about every single year. I'm talking about the period, the period of time. So because of that, I use less. Even though years is plural, she made less than $10, okay? Because I'm talking about the amount, which is uncountable, that's what I use less. Now, the dollars are countable. But the amount, $10, is uncountable in this specific case. The tip was less than $5 for the meal because I'm talking about the amount, okay? I use less. So for money, for money, always use less. Now, for weight, when it comes to weight, this is an exception for, to the countable rule. However, it does work with singular rule for using less. Your dog weighs less than 90 pounds, okay? You will need less than four gallons of water. So for weight, use always less. That was less than five meters in length, okay? And now with the percentages, because here I'm talking about a count, a non-count noun. So I use less. Because the 5% is about a non-count noun. So that's why we use 5%. Five. En este caso específico, en este no hay problema, porque con dinero y con peso y con unidades de medida, use less. Pero con los porcentajes, esto lo voy a decir en español, con los porcentajes, si el porcentaje de lo que se está hablando es un eh, sustantivo incontable, usted va a utilizar less. Pero si el porcentaje es un sustantivo contable, usted sí va a usar fewer. ¿Está claro eso? Cuando, cuando vaya a hablar de porcentaje. 5% of the population. So the population is countable. So fewer than 5% of the population. Okay? So... Could you give me a, uh -huh. an example of the a percentage? Uh -huh. Okay. Correct? Now, for example... Uh, With you, uh, fewer. Ah, uh, fewer. Okay. Uh, for example, uh, fewer, uh, fewer than, let me see, fewer than 10% of the cars in El Salvador. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Are 
in perfect conditions. So fewer than 5% of the cars, because the cars is plural, I have to use fewer. Now, if I talk about the water, less than 3% of the water in El Salvador is drinkable. Is that clear? Yes. Okay, thank you. Menos del 5% de los carros en El Salvador están en buenas condiciones. Ahora, I use it fewer because I'm talking about cars, that is plural, in the percentage. Now, when I say water, less than 5% of the water in El Salvador is drinkable. Menos del 5% del agua de El Salvador es intomable. Es tomable. Okay? So in each case, if the percentage is with a non-count noun, we use less. Okay? Now, can you see this? I watch you eat less than 5% of that meat. Meat is uncountable. So that's why I use less. Okay? Now, let's go to the exercises. That's all. That's all you need to know. Let's see. Water has... Less we're talking about calories calories Zero. is countable Zero. or oh, uncountable okay. it's countable it's countable so what do you have to use what do you have to use fewer fewer, fewer. fewer. that is correct fewer. you have to use fewer <laughs> why because the noun is countable Okay. Now the doctor advised the eat to the kid to eat. Yes. Fewer sweets. Fewer and... sweets. Uh huh. Because the noun is count. This is in plural. Okay. Fewer. Exactly. Okay. And okay. And drink. This is supposed to be drink. And drink soda to lose weight. Okay, now, number three. What am I going uh, to use? Fewer or less? Fewer. Less. Why? Fewer. Why? Why? Count now, Cars. Car. Uh -huh, because Cars is, are countable. Uh, is countable. a countable, is a plural countable noun. So it should be fewer. Okay, as easy as that. Okay, the next one. If you less. Exercises. Less. Why? Exercises, Exercises is countable. Is or it's uncountable. It's countable and it's plural, right? So fewer. 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 Okay. Fewer. So that you need to have that clear, please. Okay, now let's go to the next one. Okay, she no. has much less patience. Uh -huh. She has much less patience. Patience is uncountable, right? Mm -hmm. La paciencia is uncountable. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, what about the next one? I have... I have less, I have less, less money, money to spend on budget clothes. Okay, I have less money... On budget clothes. On and buying clothes has. than my sister. So my sister has he more. Very good, very good. Mm. Number seven. He wants to make business trips. Less business Less. trips. Less. Why? Less. Because Less. it's business trips. Viajes de negocios. So can you count the business Fewer. trips? Aha, uh -huh, that is. Fewer. 
So it has fewer. to be fewer, fewer business trips. Fewer. Fewer business trip. Why? Because here we're talking about business trips. It's trips. Just Viajes de negocio. Uh -huh. So you uh, can count the business. Countable. Uncountable. Countable. That is correct. Uncountable. That is correct. Okay. Now, number eight. She has less time, less time, time. to finish ah, the job. Very good. Less. She has less, less time, time to finish the job. Less time to finish the job. That is correct. Totally correct. Very good. Okay. Now, what about the last one? The yes. students, the students have, have less. Of have less fewer fewer days to finish ah, the project. Very good. Now days is days right. countable or countable? Countable. 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 So what am I supposed to use? Fewer. Fewer. fewer right? Because it is countable. Okay. Very good. Now. Do you have any questions? Hello? No questions? Okay, no, let's teacher. continue. No questions. No, no teacher, thank you. Okay, now if you have a question, it's please clear. stop me. Stop me. Now, the next one. There are. There. There less people. Less. Why less? Can you count people? people is, is uncountable. Is uncountable or countable? Fewer. Countable. Uh -huh. Fewer. People is plural. Uh huh. Because if Fewer. remember, pe people is the plural of person. One person, two people. So is a count a countable Fewer. noun. Fewer. Uh, let me show you here. Remember here that we talk about people? Here, there are fewer people. This fewer. is the example, you remember? There are fewer people because people is countable. And it says right, and it says right here, countable nouns are the things that you can count, which are how you can count people or gifts. So be careful with people, okay? Okay, very good. Now let's go to the next one. What is the okay. next one? Make less money than he does. I make I make less, less money than the does than he does. I make less money than he does. Than he does. Very good. Excellent. Yo hago menos dinero del que él hace. Okay. O yo gano menos dinero de lo que él gana. Whatever. However you want to say it. Now, the next one. I'm tired. I need... For, to ask for, for less, less responsibilities. Less responsibilities. Ah, in responsibilities no, is... No, it's, it's fever because aha, you can count. Very good, very good. Why? Okay. Because you because responsibilities is countable or uncountable? Countable. Countable. I have one, two, three, four, five responsibilities. Okay, very good. Now he travel less than he used to. He, he travels, travels less than uh, less. Uh -huh. He travels less than he used to because here we're not talking about trips. We're talking about viajar as a whole. So that is on uh, that is uh, on count. Less. 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 In this case is less. Okay, because we're not talking about. We're not talking about the trips. We're talking about traveling, okay? Teacher, what is the difference in travels and trips? Aha, uh -huh, okay. Trips son los viajes. Like for example, the buses, 
you know, uh, any, any route, cualquier ruta, any route does four or five trips during the, during the day. Okay, so that means every single time that they go and come back, but they travel slowly. Ellos viajan lentamente. Okay, so that is the difference between trips and travels. Okay? Travel. Okay, very good. What about number five? They know I know less. Less. They know less. less. They know less. They know less. They know less. They pretend, they pretend, to, know. They pretend they to know. They pretend, to, they know. pretend to, know. to know. So that is correct. They know less. And every time that we talk about, you see, a verb is less. Because we're talking about a no. verb. We're not talking about a noun. Okay, next. What about this one? Fewer children. Fewer, Fewer children. Fewer children. Fewer are studying French. Fewer children are studying in French. Very good. And the last one. Usually less meat. Exactly, because that is a countable noun. So you should eat less meat. Less meat. Uh -huh, very good. And that, there you go. What is the last one? I mean, the three last ones. There are... There are fewer. Homeless fewer. people. Fewer homeless. Okay. No, all this is people. a compound noun. Esto es un... Sustantivo compuesto. Ok. Gente indigente. So, what is? Yes, fewer. Ajá. Uh -huh. Remember, it's people. So, can you count the people? Fewer. Yes. yes. Fewer. So, that yes. has to be fewer. Fewer. Okay. fewer. Fewer. Fewer homeless people. Gente, gente sin hogar. So that is countable. One, two, three, four. Okay, now what about the, the next one? He has less furniture than I do. Aha. Uh -huh. Remember that I told you furniture is a known count now. So he has less furniture. Yes. Okay, because it's a known count now. Now, good teachers. There are fewer yeah, good, teacher. fewer good teachers. Fewer. Exactly. There yeah. are fewer good teachers. Why? They because we can count the teachers. Okay? <clears throat> is that clear? Okay. Very good. Very good. Yes, okay. yes it is. Okay. Now, I, I am not going to save this. Uh-oh. I did. I saved it. Well, anyway, okay, now let's go to the next page that I send you, okay? Now, okay, before we start looking at indirect questions, what sounds more polite? Do you understand what is the meaning of polite? Hello? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. teacher. Okay, cortés, polite, okay. Now, for you... What sounds more polite? Eh, ¿Qué hora es? Ocho y media. Or? Okay. But, but this is the question. Okay, listen. What question is more polite? What time is it? Or could you tell me what time it is? Could you tell me what time it is? Uh -huh. Could you tell me what time it is? So... That's why we have indirect questions, because we want to sound more polite. Now, let's see. If the direct Mr. question, uh, let me see. Uh, let's go all the way to the beginning. What are indirect questions? Direct questions are the normal questions that we can ask friends, family members, and people who we know well. You can form direct questions using the quas model. Okay. 
that we learned last lesson. Example of that direct question, where is the bathroom? Correct? Okay, now indirect questions are a little more formal and polite. Polite. Teacher. We use them when talking to a person we Teacher. don't Teacher. know very well or in professional situations. Teacher, we can see your screen. Ah, I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry about that. Yeah, you're right. Now, can you see it now? Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay, now we say yes. indirect questions are, okay. So this is the example of a for, uh, normal direct question. Where's the bathroom? So indirect questions are a little more formal and polite. We use them when taking, when talking to a person we don't know very well or in professional situations. And their forms is a little different. Example, the, the, same, the same question, but in indirect way. Could you tell me where the bathroom is? What is different? Formal? More polite. Yeah, but look, here is, where is the bathroom? And here the is, is after the subject. Can you tell me where the bathroom is? Is. So you see, I move that is mm -hmm. after the subject, not before the subject after the subject. Is that clear? Yeah. Hello? Yes. Yes? yes. Okay, yes, don't it worry. Is. We're going to practice. Okay? Now, these are introductory phrases to make indirect questions. Like, for example, could you tell me? Do you know? Do you know? I was wondering. Me preguntaba. I was wondering. Do you have any idea? I like to know. I like to know. Will it be possible? Is there any, Is there chance? any chance? Is that clear? So okay. all these are phrases that can introduce indirect questions. Now let's take a look. Direct and indirect questions in English. Example: the direct question is: where is Market Street? Now, indirect, could you tell me? where Market Street is. So you see, I played the is after the subject. Like. Right here. Like if it were an affirmative statement. Now, in indirect questions with is, <laughs> are, or was, and where in the past, the verb is comes after the subject. In this case, after, Market Street. Like here, the is came after the subject. What was the subject? Bathroom. The bathroom. So the is, it was moved after the subject. So here, the same thing. Now, this is when we work with the verb is, are, or was, and where in the past. Now, with the simple present, what time does the bank open? So we eliminate the does and we put an S if we are talking about a singular subject, like in this case. Okay? We eliminate the does and we write, because it's a singular subject, it, we, we put an S, like in the simple present. So do you know what the time, what, do you know what time the bank opens? Me podría decir a que hora abre el banco? Is that clear? So that's what happened. You eliminate the does, and if it is a third person singular, he, she, or it, you put an S. How do you know if it is he or she or it? Because the auxiliary is does. Because when the auxiliary is do, 
You don't put an S to the verb. We will see. In indirect questions, we don't use the auxiliary verbs do, does, or did in the past. Also, you can see that the verb is open in a direct question and opens in the in direct question. Why? Because the auxiliary is does. Okay. Now take a look. Why did you move to Europe? Because this is in the past. We removed the did. Ah, but the did is telling me that we are in the past. If we don't have this, how do we know if we are in the past? Easy. Put the verb in the past. You removed the did. I was wondering why you, and then oh, use dear. the past tense of the verb. Why you moved to Europe. <clears throat> Is that clear? Yes? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yes Don't teacher, worry teacher. that we are going to practice. Okay. Teacher. Yes, sir. Okay. Practically is the, the indirect questions is the and the, the best form for um so. como más for formal no, for form. it is more, more polite formal. more it's polite more polite to us to us for somebody uh -huh. that you know exactly you know. is more polite es más cortés Okay? De una more forma, polite. Uh, algo más Maybe formal. no more formal. It's more polite. More polite. Más cortés. It's okay. like in Spanish. Okay. Si yo le digo, ¿qué hora es? O si yo le pregunto, ¿me podría decir qué hora es? ¿Qué suena más, más cortés? Me podría decir qué hora es. Right? Okay? okay. Bye. Okay. Okay. Okay, now this one we are not going to see. Now let's go to this one. How much, how much does this motorcycle cost? So we say we eliminate because it does. Remember the verb needs to put an S because it does. So we eliminate does. I like to know how much this motorcycle costs. Cost. Cost. Vaya, en el, así. Solo cuando tenga el auxiliar das, voy a eliminar el auxiliar y le voy a poner S o ES al verbo principal. ¿Estamos de acuerdo? Uh -huh. si, no, si solo lleva do, solo tengo que eliminar el do. Si lleva okay, did, teacher. voy a eliminar el did, pero al verbo principal lo tengo que poner en pasado. ¿Ok? Bye. Okay. okay. Now let's take a look. With Ken, can you finish the project by tomorrow? That is the direct question. Will it be possible for you to finish the project by tomorrow? Or uh, I want to know if you can finish the project by tomorrow. Ya le voy a explicar esa parte. Okay. Vaya. Ok. Veamos. Aquí está. Bert. Aquí está. Ok. Simple. Present. With B. Is he Spanish? Can you tell me if. Vaya. Cuando se trata. When is. Yes. And no questions. For example. Do you work? What is the answer? Yes. No. So do you work? Is a yes and no question. Because the answer is yes or is no. When you have a yes and no question, you have to add the, the, the word if. Me puede decir si sí, él es español. Is that clear? Okay. So, is he Spanish? So you move the is after the subject. He is the subject, so the is is going to be right here. If he is Spanish. Present continuous, the same thing. Is the restaurant closing now? Could you tell me if the restaurant is closing now? Okay. In the simple pass would be, was he late for the meeting? Can you tell me if he was late for the meeting? So I put the was after the subject. 
Past continuous, were you watching TV at 3 p.m.? Can you tell me if you were watching TV? So you see, I put the where after the subject you. Okay? Now, here is what I say. Yes and no, direct question. You have to use if. If the direct question is a yes or no question, he has no question words such as what, who, when, where, why, or how, then the indirect question will have if. Does Tom like Italian food? Do you know if, you remember Tom. we eliminate the does, if Tom, and we are going to put an S on the verb. Because is does. Do you know if Tom likes Italian food? Are your parents joining us for dinner? Could you tell me if your parents are joining us for dinner? Okay. The next one. Do they speak English? Notice that it's not does. It's do. I was wondering. So I was wondering if they speak English. Why we don't put an S? Because it's do. Only when it's does, we're gonna put an S or an ES. Is that clear? Yeah, teacher, okay. it's clear. Okay, now let's go to the exercise. It is double H question, no if, no if, okay? So let's okay. see, what is the next one? Look, my neighbor, my, uh, my new neighbor asked me, okay, we are going to use, can you tell me? Can you tell me? Tell me. What kind of question if, is? If you, if, if you, if, 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 exactly. If you live with your family. If you live with your family. Family, and that's all. Now, when, when, when this expression is a question, we are going to put a question mark. Okay, because sometimes, like this expression, is not a question. I was wondering. Me preguntaba. It's not a question. I like to know. Me gustaría saber. It's not a question. Now, uh, all these are questions. So when, when these introductory phrases are not questions, so you are going to write just a period. Vaya, cuando estas eh, expresiones que introducen a la pregunta indirecta no son preguntas, entonces no vamos a escribir eh, signo de interrogación, sino que punto. Ok, next. He asked me if I live with my family. Okay. Ah, sorry. Number two. Can I borrow your lawn mower? Mower? Lawn mower is la podadora de césped. Mm. Okay. Now, I oh. like to know. I like to know. Me gustaría saber. If I can borrow your loud mover. Exactly. So first of all, como usted ve, todas okay, estas no, son no. preguntas sí o no. Entonces, I need if. Cuando sé que no son preguntas sí o no. Cuando adelante lleve how, lleve where, how, how where, when. how many. Ok. Entonces, estas no son preguntas sí o no. Estas son preguntas que la respuesta es información. How many children do you have? Five. No puedo decir, how many children do you have? Yes. yes. No puedo decir yes yeah, o no puedo decir no. ¿Cuántos hijos tiene? Sí. ¿Cuántos hijos tiene? No. ¿Ya? Entonces, estas son double age questions. Double H question, porque la pregunta es información. La respuesta es información. So, all these need if. Todas las yes and no need if. If, vaya, ahí cambio. 
What is the, the subject? I. Then the auxiliary can. If I. If I can borrow. Y el resto es lo mismo. If I can borrow your um, lawnmower. Uh-oh. Mower. Your lawnmower. Lawn. Ok. And, vaya. Como aquí, esta expresión no es una pregunta, sino que es una oración, entonces yo aquí no puedo poner pregunta, el signo de interrogación, sino que voy a cerrar con punto. ¿Está claro? Bien. En esta, esto sí es una pregunta. Puede decirme, es una pregunta, entonces cierro Bien. con pregunta. Esto, esta, esta expresión de introducción es una oración, entonces solo punto. Ok, the next one. Do you speak Spanish? Could you Could you tell me if uh -huh. you, could if, you, you tell me tell me, me if you if you, speak if you speak Spanish? Spanish? Ah, porque son if preguntas sí o no if you you speak Spanish speak, speak Spanish. Spanish qué tengo que hacer what do I have to do simply simply eliminate the do okay Eliminate the do. Questions? Teacher. Yes, teacher. Uh, I made to use, I like to know if you speak Spanish. Okay, I'm, I'm going to write that one right here on the bottom. I'd like, I like to know the same if you speak Spanish. Spanish. And in this case, because it's not a question, only a period. Okay? Lo mismo, ¿verdad? De aquí para allá lo mismo. ¿Qué es lo que varió? Que como no es una pregunta, la introducción, sino que una oración, pongo punto. ¿Está clear? Yes, it is. Yes. Okay. Now, let's see. Number four. Let me know, is that your car? Let me know if that, that is your, is your, your car. car. Your okay, and let me know. Ah, no es pregunta. Déjeme saber. Entonces, only period. Yes. You okay. see, and I put the if. And I move the is after. Ah, let me know if that is cat. your cat. Uh, sorry. Cat. Okay, now what about this one? Uh, let me see. Let's use another expression. Do you know? Okay, so you do it. Do you? No. Uh -huh. Do you know? How? If I can help you. Uh -huh. Do you know? If, if I can help. If. And do you know if? If I can no, help no, you. No, you can. No, I, if you. you if if you, you can, can help me. Uh -huh. If you can help me. If you. Can help me. And because it's a question, a question mark. Fix my fences. Mm. Okay? Defenses. Vaya. Fíjense bien, por efectos de tiempo, do the other three. Now, we are going to do this one. Okay? Could you tell me? Now, how is this one? Could you tell me? If you are okay. No, no if. Esta no lleva uh, if. How? How are you? How? How you are. How you how are. You are. Y ahí cambio. El are lo paso después del you. 
Could you tell me how you are? Perfect. Now, the next one. Eh, todas estas ya no llevan el if. Why? Because they are double H questions. Okay, let's see. What is this one? Let's use, can you tell me? Can you tell me where? Can you tell you, me? You par, where your car is? Tell me where? Can you tell park. me where you park? Park. 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 And because it's a question, a question mark. Is that clear? Yeah. Okay. The next one. Okay, let's let's change one that it does. Ah, okay. Now this one. Now like, with the ones that I'm not doing, you do it as homework. And you have Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay. So okay, Monday okay. we check. Okay, now what is it? Uh, let's use the same one. Could you tell me? Could you tell me where is the nearest? Where, 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 where can you tell me? Is. Where the nearest, bank, the nearest is. bank is. Where? By cuál es el sujeto? The nearest bank. Ese es el sujeto. Can you tell me where the nearest, nearest bank, bank is? And then is. the is. And question mark. Okay? Okay. Okay, now this one. Uh huh. Now we are going to use Can you tell me? Okay, so what is the night? What is the first one? En esta, Could you tell me where dando, the way? En esta ya me están dando la expresión de introducción. Okay, so in this case, they already tell me. Can you tell me? Can you where tell the me where the bathroom is? is? Uh -huh. Hey, very good. Where the bathroom is? Can you tell me where the bathroom is? Is that clear? Okay, yes. now, yeah. in this one, they tell me, would you mind telling me? Would you mind telling me how long the lunch break is? Uh -huh. How long? The lunch, the lunch, the lunch, the lunch, lunch break is. is. The lunch break is. If. Okay, and would you mind telling me it's a question? So I ended with a question mark. The next one. Do you know, do you know, do you know if, if the managing if director is in today? Is in today? Uh -huh. Do you know if, if the managing director is in today? Hola. Dígame, Mario. Dígame. Vaya, ahí mira el video entonces. Oye, de la clase. Vaya. No, ese link lo va a encontrar ahí en la plataforma. La, la clase mía la va a encontrar en la plataforma y en YouTube también. Vaya, está bueno. Lo único que la voy a dejar porque estoy en medio de una clase. Vaya. No, 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 está bien. Y gracias por informarme. Oye. Vaya, ok, excelente. Vaya, excelente. Vaya, bye, bye. Vaya, ok. So, do you know if... The managing director is in today. And look, what is the subject? The managing director. Is that clear? Hello? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yes. yes. Number four, I like to know. 
If I'd you like want to know me, if you want me to work on Saturday. Exactly. Vaya. Pero ahora vamos a dejar que los demás también participen. Porque ustedes dos ya los veo. I can see that you are very sharp. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, the next one. Could you tell me how? Does, does the does work, does the work, work, the work the photocopier? Computer? No. The photocopier no. works. Uh -huh. Remember that we say we eliminate does. You remember? Ah, uh, okay. Yes. Uh -huh. And that we put an S on the verb. So could you tell me how the me. photocopier works? Okay, very good. The next one. How do you any idea how this program works? How this program works? How do you have, have you any idea how this program, this program works? works? Okay. And the last, uh -huh. the next one, I like to know. How much? How much? Lunch in the canteen cost. Uh -huh. I like to know how much lunch in the canteen, in the canteen cost. cost. Okay, the next one. I was wondering if I could, uh -huh. I could live I early could today. Live early today. Okay, very good. All the rest of the exercises are going to be homework, okay? So you can do them at home. Do you have any questions? Hello, do you have any questions? No? Now, in no. this one, be careful. In this one, be careful because I put them mixed. Okay, en este tengan cuidado porque van mezclados. Double H questions and yes and no questions. Okay? So you got to be careful when you are doing them. When to use if and when not to use if. Okay? Okay. Okay. okay very good. Uh, let's do a couple. Which one do you see that is difficult? Okay, this one, let's see. No, that is easy. That is easy, okay. What do you know about Tom? What do you do? You no. uh, the question is, what do you know what? about Tom? The direct question. So he wants to know about no, no, no. he wants to know make the indirect question what hello people he what does to know what no you he eliminate do you remember yeah. uh -huh. what you know about Mm -hmm. About no. Tom. What do you no. know about, about Tom? He wants to know what you know about Tom. Él quiere saber no. qué es lo que sabe de Tom. Right? Right. Okay, let's see. How much does it cost? Can you tell me? Can you tell me how much? How much? How much? How much? How much? How, How much? much? It no, does. Remember, we it, eliminate oh, oh, the no. cost. It, How much? It, it costs. Cost. Uh -huh. And the verb, we write an S because we eliminate us. The verb, we have to write it. How much is cost? Uh -huh. And question mark because it's introduced by a question. Okay. Very good. Okay. Uh, I'm going to stop right now. Okay, I'm going to let you go. Uh, right now, uh, I know that the platform is is uh, having uh, difficulties uh, to get in, but you keep trying. Usted siga intentando entrar a la plataforma y haga sección 1 y sección 2. Este es el último tema de la sección 2. 
okay? So please uh, go to the platform, finish section two, and we'll be ready. Monday, we are going to check all these exercises. All these exercises, we are going to check on Monday, okay? Okay. Teacher. And also, okay. any question that you probably may have about the platform, we clear it out on Monday, okay? Okay. Very good. Okay. Thank you very much for your time, and I'll see you Monday. Have okay, teacher. Okay, an teacher. exciting, teacher. Have a wonderful weekend. Teacher, we, we don't have class on Monday. Uh, ah, on Tuesday. We have Tuesday. classes. Next week, we're going to have classes Tuesday to Friday. So we don't have okay. classes Monday, but we will have classes Friday. Okay? Okay, okay. teacher. Hey, okay. have a happy Memorial Day. Ese es Thank Feliz you. Día de los Muertos. Okay? Gracias. Okay. Bye. Bye. Have Bye. a wonderful Bye. night. Bye. Bye. Okay. Bye. Thank you so much. You too. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye bye. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night.